for Frank, just like all of our spirits. It's all made right here, and then we bottle it all by hand. And we get people from the pub to come out and help us man the line. So we have a little uh, six spout filler that originally started out in the winery that we used to fill our bottles. And then we label everything by hand and send it down the line. We bottled six barrels. The barrels were 60 gallons each, and that came out to about 1,600 bottles. This is an old cognac still, uh, made in Charente, France, roughly the 1890s. The shape of this still really determines the efficiency, the distillation process, and also the kind of flavors that come across. And this seems to uh, concentrate fruity flavor profiles. It makes a very bold, full-body rum. At the beginning of the distillation, we hang the can across the swan neck of the, of the still, um, and when the vapors start to come across, it heats up the copper, and when the vapors get to that point on the still, the wax melts and the can drops. It kind of acts as our alarm clock, and when that happens, we want to turn the fire down and we want to make sure the condenser is running. And once that can drops, we've got about 10 minutes before the spirits start to actually come across to the condenser. This is starting to smell pretty good. Oh, this smells pretty clean, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, it's more art than science out here, which really fits in with the still. We're kind of applying those old cognac distillation methods to all the spirits that we make out here. We also wanted to do something overproof. The beverage department guys wanted something they could light on fire for Spanish coffees. But we didn't want to produce something just to be flammable. We wanted something that would still have flavor at that proof. A lot of the really bold flavors in molasses came across in the spirit. And the layer of flavor that we added by aging it in cognac barrels really complements that. Cognac barrels are French oak, so there's kind of the French oak flavor profile. And they also bring a little bit of flavor of the cognac that was aged in it. So there's a little bit of a fruity note, a little bit of a kind of a tropical note that comes with that. Frank is both a reference to the oldest grandson of uh, Robert Embry that built this for him. Also a reference to the personality of the spirit itself. It's a Frank spirit. It's bold and in your face. And I just thought that would be kind of a funny name for the rum, and it stuck. <laughs>